video, we are practicing the SQL problems on the Hacker Rank. In this video, we will solve some problems on the Hacker Rank platforms. So, let us begin with the first problem of this video. The problem statement is the total score of a hacker is the sum of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. Write a query to print the hacker ID, name and total score of the hackers ordered by the descending score. If more than one hacker achieved the same total score, then sort the result by ascending hacker ID. Exclude all hackers with a total score of zero from your result. Input format. The following table contains contest data. Hackers. The hacker ID is the ID of the hacker and name is the name of the hacker. Submissions. The submission ID is the ID of the submission. Hacker ID is the ID of the hacker who made the submission. Challenge ID is the ID of the challenge for which the submission belongs to. And the score is the score of the submission. We can see the sample input. In the sample input, there are two columns present. These are hackers table and submissions table. You can see both of these tables on your screen. We can see the sample output on the screen. The sample output is 4071 rows 191, 74842 Lisa 174. 84072 Bonnie 100 4806 Angela 89 26071 Frank 85 80305 Kimberly 67 49438 Patrick 43 Explanation Hacker 4071 submitted solutions for challenges 19797 and 49593 so the total score is equal to 95 plus max 43,96 which is equal to 191. Hacker 74842 submitted solutions for challenges 19797 and 63132. So the total score is equal to max 98,5 plus 76 which is equal to 174. Hacker 84072 submitted solutions for challenges 49593 and 63132. So the total score is equal to 100 plus 0 which is equal to 100. The total scores for hackers 4806, 26071, 80305 and 49438 can be similarly calculated. In this question, we have to calculate the sum of the maximum score. We will perform the join operation in this question. Now, let us discuss the solution of this problem. In the first line, we will write select h.hackerid, name, sum max score as total score. Here, h is the alias of the hackers table and max score is the maximum score. In the next line, we will perform the join operation by writing from hackers as h. As we want the maximum score, we will write the query to fetch the maximum score from the submissions table and will do an inner join with the hackers table by writing inner join select hacker id max score as max score from submissions group by challenge id hacker id as s in this query we have selected the hacker id and maximum score from the submissions table and group by the challenge id and hacker id for the maximum score we have given the alias max score we have given the alias s to the result of maximum score from the submissions table. As we want to perform the inner join on the column hacker ID, in the next line we will write on h.hackerid equal to s.hackerid. So here we have finished the join operation. We used the aggregate function max in the select clause. So we will use the group by clause by writing group by h.hackerid name. Here h is the alias for the hackers table. 
We have to exclude all hackers with a total score of zero from our result. So we will use the having clause to apply the filter condition on the aggregation. In the next line, we will write having total score greater than zero. Here, total score is the sum of the maximum score. We have to sort our result in the descending order of total score and if total score is the same, then we have to sort our result by the ascending order of the hacker ID. For that, we will use the order by clause by writing order by total score DESC H dot hacker ID. Here again, H is the alias for the hackers table. You can see that our query is now ready. Let us submit the code. So we can see the success message on the compiler. It means that our query is absolutely correct. Understood? Well, let us move forward to the next problem. The problem statement is, Harry Potter and his friends are at Ollivander's with Ron, finally replacing Charlie's old broken wand. Hermione decides the best way to choose is by determining the minimum number of gold galleons needed to buy each non-evil wand of high power and age. Write a query to print the ID, age, coins needed and power of the wands that Ron's interested in, sorted in order of descending power. If more than one wand has same power, sort the result in order of descending age. Let us look at the input format. So the following table contains data on the wands in Ollivander's inventory. Wands. The ID is the ID of the wand. Code is the code of the wand. Coins needed is the total number of gold galleons needed to buy the wand. And power denotes the quality of the wand. The higher the power, the better the wand is. Wands property. The code is the code of the wand. Age is the age of the wand. And is evil denotes whether the wand is good for the dark arts. If the value of is evil is zero, it means that the wand is not evil. The mapping between code and age is 1-1, one, one, meaning if there are two pairs, code 1, age 1, and code 2, age 2, then code 1 is not equal to code 2, and age 1 is not equal to age 2. Let us look at an explanation of this problem. The data for wands of age 45, code 1. The minimum number of galleons needed for wand H equal to 45, power equal to 2 is equal to 6020. The minimum number of galleons needed for wand H equal to 45, power equal to 10 is equal to 1647. In this question, we have to query for non-evil and the minimum number of gold galleons. Let us discuss the solution of this problem. We are using the alias W for the wands table and alias P for the wands property table. We want to fetch the ID, age, coins needed and power. So in the first line we will write select ID, age, coins needed, power. Next we will perform the join operation on the wands and wands property table. In the next line we will write from wands as W inner join wants property as p on w.code equal to p.code. In this join operation, we joined these two tables on the matching column code. After this, we have to define the two filter conditions. First is the value of is evil is zero and the second is coins needed is minimum. For the second condition, we will write a nested query. Nested query means the query inside the query. In the next line, we will write this code. In this filter condition, we used AND keyword because we want both the conditions to be satisfied. For the coins needed, we used a nested query. In the nested query, we are extracting the minimum value for the coins needed by joining the two tables. In this nested query, we are using the self join by specifying the where w1.power equal to w.power and p1.h equal to p.h. A self join is mainly used to combine and compare the rows of the same table in the database.
Self join allows us to query on a value within a column with other rows being used as a filter. We want to order the result by the descending order of power and then by the descending order of age. So in the last line we will write order by power DESC age DESC. We can see that our query is now ready. I have submitted the query and you can see the success message on the compiler. It means that our query is absolutely correct guys. I hope that you have understood this problem clearly and do not have any doubts. In this video, we practiced the problems based on joins. Now you are clear with the concept of join. So we will be meeting very soon in the next lecture. Till then, stay safe and keep learning. Bye.